to the best of your ability. All right? So you believe in Jesus. He's the Messiah coming back to redeem all his people. All right, and who's your savior? Who's coming back to save you and your people? God is, right? Is that the most high? Is that God? Like, who, who, who is God? Give me Luke chapter 1, verse 68. All right, so God is coming back to save you from who? From all who? Is he coming back to save you from a people? Is God coming back to save you from a people? Uh, from an evil people. Right. That's who he's coming back to save you from. Christ is coming back to save you from an evil people. Right. You understand? Read what you got. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and have raised up in horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. So all the prophets, when you read this Bible, spoke about the salvation to come, all right, for God's people to be saved from their enemies. That's what we're going to read. Come on. Which have been since the world began. That we should be saved from our enemies. That we should be saved from who? Saved from our enemies. So we got to be saved from who? From my enemies. All right, so who is your enemy? I would say who is your enemy? So you believe that the black messiah is coming back to save you from yourself. But you're not saved yet. So you believe that the black messiah is coming back to save you from yourself. That's what you believe? He is already here. We just gotta be one as a people. Where is he at? Where is he at? Yeah, you say he's already here. Where is he? Christ, where is Christ? Yeah, we have a we have the spirit of Christ, but the Savior has not come back to redeem us yet. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, but you gotta understand, brother, that there's two aspects of Jesus. Christ. Yeah, I agree. Christ Many is, aspects. Okay, Christ is not a human place or thing. The spirit is the is is that dwelling place that God dwells in. Jesus is a human being. Did you hear what it's we like just said? It said that Christ was coming back to save his people from their enemies. That's what we just read. Yeah, we read it out the Bible. Do you agree with that? Yeah, he, he's already doing it. So, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Read you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring Who's your out. enemy? Yourself and evil people. All right, you tell me if you did this to yourself. Read on. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. God said you're going to have to serve your enemies. So let you tell it you serve yourself, right? No, I don't serve myself. You I, said? I do, I do the best that I can do. Who is your enemy? Who is my enemy? Yes. The people, the evil people around me. So who, oh, very good. At first you said it was yourself. Sometimes I get a little So confused. who, all right, I understand, understand. So we're about to read about God's enemies right now. And this is who Christ is coming back to save his people from. Read again from the top. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God's people had to serve their enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In hunger. So God's people had to serve their enemies for food. Anything that you wanted to eat. You understand? Anything that we eat today. Where do we have to go to get it? We have to work for it. But Where do we have to go to get it? Where do we have to go to get it? We have to go on the inside of us to get No, where do we have, if I want to go get food today, where do I go get well, food from? Well, in the common sense, most people will go to the store, grocery store. Do you have a, do, do black people have grocery stores that we can go to and buy from? It's the street around. Where, where? Tell me how to get there. New York. Give me directions, how I get there. Oh, oh I can say brother, New York. You see what I'm saying? We, we don't have grocery stores like that. 
We don't have grocery stores like that. We still, the same way we did in slavery, how do we eat in slavery? Well, we had to be fed. We had to be fed. Yeah. How do we eat today? We gotta be fed still. Right. We gotta be fed still. How do we drink during slavery? We drank what they gave us, right? How do we drink today? What we drink, what we decide to drink. Right, where do we get it from? We go to our enemies for that. That's right. You understand? We go to our enemies to get drink. The white man cut the water off, so-called white man, he cut the water off. Are we gonna be able to drink? No, we, we can't. So we still depending upon who? For food and for hunger. For hunger and for drink, who we, who we depend upon? For hunger and water, who are we dependent upon? They depend upon, um, depend upon God. Who are we dependent upon? Who are we dependent upon? For food and for drink? We are dependent on, on God. Because I'm going to tell you, brother. Listen, listen to what the Bible says. It says we must serve a people for these things. Are we serving a people for these things right now? We're not really serving for them, you know. If, if you profess to believe in, in, in God, He's going to provide you with all these things, water. He's going to provide them from where? If God, what does it look like when God provides you with food? What does it look like? Describe it to me. I can't do I'm going to tell you. You go work You go work for the white man. That's what you do. Most, most of your people go work for the white man. All right, let's say you don't. You work for yourself. All right? And you get a paycheck. Then you pay taxes to who? The white man. And then you take what's left over from your check. And then you take that to the white man's store to buy your groceries. That's what you do. You can have your own business. That's what you, you say not necessarily, where do you go get your groceries there? Yeah, I go to the store. I go what to, store do you go to? I go to a, what you call a halal store. A halal store, okay. Yeah, me. Who runs that, black people? A lot of black people. A lot of black people run the halal stores right here? Yes, sir. Come on, bro. Yes, black sir. people do not own those stores. Yes, sir. What? I'm going to ask a black man. You, come close. You, 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 come close. He say black man own the halal stores. What's halal mean? He don't even know what it means. What I'm trying to show you is it's not even common in our community. Right. It's, not our, it's not our custom. It's not our culture. Halal is not our culture. It's not our culture. You understand? That come from the Arabs. That's the Arabs culture. And you know what the Arabs did? You know what the Arabs did? They put us into slavery. Just like the so-called white man. That's not your culture. So what you're telling me is you get your paycheck from working for, for yourself. And then you pay your taxes to the white man. And then you go to the Arab man to buy your food. That's what you're telling me. Both of your slave masters. That's right. You go, you pay one of them taxes, and then you go buy food from the other one. That's what you're telling me, just like the Bible said. You understand? Read it again from the top. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So right now, you still serve your enemies. Right. The same way your forefathers did in slavery. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you right now. All of us are serving our, our, our enemies. We agree, we agree with you. That's why we're waiting for a savior to come redeem us from our enemy. But when you say your enemy is yourself, you, you, you really don't want to be saved from the error. You don't want to be saved from the white man. You only want to be saved from the evil thoughts in your mind. That's it. That's it. I can't say that. Because when you think of enemies, you don't think of the people I just named. You think they're your friends. That's why you're okay going to them to buy your food. You're content with that. Right? When you teach what you teach your brother, you got to teach in love, man. You know? You, you say I'm not teaching the law because I'm telling you the truth. No, 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 no. You know what the no, problem man. is? People a lot of our fathers never really told us the truth about right. ourselves. That's the problem. So now when we hear the truth, we get emotional about it. That's what happens. All I know. We get emotional about it when we hear the truth. What I'm trying to teach you is what you see on these signs right here, right? This right here. The Arabs did that to us. The so-called white man did that to us. All right, very good. But what you what you started to deny was that they were your enemies. That's what you started to deny. They are your enemies because the Bible says it. Right. You know how we know that? We still have to depend upon them for food and for drink. Right. We didn't even get to the rest of the verse, but just for those things alone, we have to go to our enemies for them. We gotta start working on it. Alright? How to very good. Now we're trying to show you how to work on it. Alright, we're gonna finish the verse. Read on. And in thirst and in nakedness. And in want of all things. So right now, we have to go to our enemies for everything that we need. Right. Right? 
everything we need. Food, clothes, water. You understand? You want a driver's license. You want to bury your dad. You understand? If you want a job. Right what you suggest right now, what we should do to change our situation, brother. All praise to the most high. You know, I'm glad you asked. Feed me, man. All right, give me Lamentation chapter 3. Starting verse 39. Bring it up. All right, we're going to show you what to do. All right? Because right now we're showing you our heirs. Right? And we're living the punishments of them. That's why we're suffering out here today. We're on the bottom of society today because of that. So we run to Christianity, to the white man's religion. Right. We run to Muslims. Right. We run to, to, the, to, the, to the Arab man's religion. Right. You understand? That's what we do. But we're going to show you what God says on how to change our condition. Because he's the one that allowed us to go into slavery. Right. That wouldn't have happened if he ain't allowed it. It wouldn't have happened. But he allowed it. So we need to go back to him to find out how to change it. You understand? Read what you got. Lamentations. Chapter 3, verse 39. Bring it up. Wherefore does a living man complain? A man for the punishment of his sin. So what we just read about, going to the white man. You understand? For your water. That's a punishment for your sins. Y'all understand that? Going to the Arab man. You understand? Going to the Arab man for your for your halal meat. You're doing that for the punishment of your sins. You're supposed to have your own livestock. You understand? You're supposed to be able to, to do that without getting permission from the city. Right. A permit. I can get a permit to have livestock in my backyard. Says who? Says the white man. Right. Your enemy. That's who says that. You understand? So you want to change that condition. God says do this. Come on. Let us search and try our way. We got to examine ourselves and admit where we went wrong. You understand? God said don't commit adultery. I committed adultery. God said don't steal. I stole. God said don't lie. I lied. You understand? God said, if I have sex with a woman, that needs to be the woman that I'm going to marry. You understand? And then our communities will change. That's called examining yourself, searching and trying your way. Then after you do that, and you make confession to the Lord, Lord, I messed up. This is what I did. I fell off. Please have mercy upon my soul. I'm going to change. I'm not going to continue to do that. Because what black people like to do is send their prayers up to, at night, and they continue to do the same thing the next day. That's evil. That's not going to bring change within our community. Right. Come on. And turn again to the Lord. No, we got to do what? And turn again to the Lord. No, we got to turn back around. Because we was walking away from God. We was walking in the ways of the Arab. We was walking in the ways of the white man. You understand? We was walking in the ways of all the nations around us that oppressed us and put us into slavery. God says, don't, 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 don't uh, learn the ways of the heathen. You understand? Don't do that. Right. Don't envy after them. Don't follow your oppressor. Don't do that. Right. All right? Find out how God wants you to live. And then to do what? Read that part again. And turn again to the Lord. And then turn back to the Father. Through the example that he left in his son, Jesus the Christ. The black Messiah. That's, right. That's who you got to turn to for your salvation. You got to follow and walk how he walked. Come on. Let us lift up our heart with our hands unto God in the heavens. We have transgressed. We got to say what? We have transgressed. We got we got to say that we have transgressed. Come on. And have rebelled. And did what? And have rebelled. We got to say that we rebelled. Come on. Thou hast not pardoned. Thou hast covered with anger and persecuted us. So we were persecuted by the Lord for our sins. You understand? So we have to fix that by going back to the Lord and serving him. How he told us before any of this stuff happened. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1. Before any of this stuff happened, this is what God said. And because we rejected it, we live like this today. We live just like this today. We, we selling oils and butter on the corner. Trying to make a dollar to feed our family today. We supposed to be ruling this whole damn earth. But we content selling oils and butter on the street corner. And bean pies. And newspapers. It's what we sell. You understand? To try to feed our families. We're not supposed to live like that. We're supposed to be rulers on the earth. All nations are supposed to be paying taxes to us. We're supposed to be collecting from everybody. You understand? But we accepted the crumbs of the society. That's not how we're supposed to be living today. That ain't how we're supposed to be living, bro. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. There ain't no equality with God. So stop fighting for it. It don't exist. It never has existed. Ever. Ever, never in history has there been equality. But you know what the black man does? He fights for equality. He says, I need to be able to, 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 to sell my, my merchandise on a corner just like the white man. I should have equal rights. I should be able to use the same damn bathroom as him. 
No, we're not supposed to be together like that. We're supposed to be on high, they're supposed to be below. We're going to read it in the scriptures. Come on. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God says this to the Israelites, the so-called black Hispanic Native Americans scattered across the whole earth. This is who God is talking to. Come on. To observe and to do all his commandments. God said to do what? Do all his commandments. You said what's the solution? How do we fix it? What do we got to do? All right, we suffer. We serve our enemies. How do I fix it, brother? This is how you fix it. You fix it by doing what? Keeping all God's commandments. Come on. Which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He'll do what? The Lord thy God will set thee on high. The Lord said he gonna set you on high. Are black people on high today? No. No, we live in the ghetto. We can't be on high and live in the ghetto at the same time. It don't make sense. You understand? We live on the bottom. We don't live on high. You understand? We don't live on high today. Come on. Above all nations. We're supposed to be above all nations. Yes, the black man is supposed to be above the Chinese man. The black man is supposed to be above the white man. The black man is supposed to be above the Japanese man. But the black man is fighting to be equal to all these nations that's supposed to be your servant. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.